Bawa kelas kita ada buka tim So listening, attending to the class InsyaAllah kalau niat lebih betul Ibadah juga tu Okay, dapat pahala insyaAllah So, this is still rolling Yes, now dah start recording Right Now I will present My screen Okay Saya nak tunjuk kat mana actually I share the and upload the uh, mini project. Boleh sing eh? Itulah hari ni, hari ni I don't know what's wrong. Uh, mungkin because uh, at the back of my house ni, my neighbor dia ada buat some renovation. I'm scared that some of the frequency tu ada cross dengan kita punya ni. Frequency usage ni. So, because I'm using the same setting, I don't change anything and yet dia ada, ada, ada orang kata noise ni lah. Uh -uh, Tapi suara saya jelas tak? Just bagi feedback. Kalau jelas, okay Alhamdulillah. Jelas. Jelas, jelas. Jelas okay. Tapi ada hissing sound lah. So, yang tu saya tak boleh nak ni lah. Saya nak buat. So, now I just want to show you where did I see where the, the, the assignment to has been uploaded eh? So can you see the screen now? My future new screen ni? Eh? Yes, okay. okay, now on the left side on the screen tu kan ada continuous assessment tu If you click kat situ and then you go to the assignment you Click under the assignment Assessment tu Assignment tu under the assignment ya Allah lembab it takes ages eh? tadi saya tak bawa assessment eh nama saya silap free ke so, saya dah assign to you tau I dah save and then I dah assign tadi Hmm. Okay, dia tak ada lah kat sini Sistem ada glitch ke Baru je nak pakai So anyway You just uh, Nanti saya akan Re-upload ke whatever lah Maybe sistem ada glitch ke apa ke Because now dah start raining balik ATM reimbursement Ah, saya tak upload kan ni Saya tak upload bawa assignment nak cikgu Tak apa, tak apa It's okay Saya baru je upload je So, this is the assignment that I want to show you Okay, the contoh dia Now So you will get something like this document tu. Jelas tak document ni? Nampak tak? Saya besarkan sikit. Nampak? Bagi feedback? Nampak. 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 Jelas eh? Alright. Jelas. Ha, ha, jelas. Okay. Sekarang ni previously the mini project is actually uh, I design for the group assignment. But now since um, Uh, we do, I mean the online, online new class again. So I have a uh, re restructure the group or the mini project to uh, become the individual assignment. Okay. Now let's look at the question. So this assignment atau for mini project ni is designed to fulfill the course outcome number three and number four. Okay. So under this two course outcomes. It is about the student should be able to provide the solutions to the methods in an organization. That means uh, in the question nanti, you have to touch and discuss a little bit in terms of the uh, organizational structure in the total quality management environment. Okay. And then CO4 is about report on the management tools and processes to design, implement and sustain the EQM appropriate to the workplace 
and or target organization. So sekarang ni, what I want to share here, I have given you the case study. Okay. So the same setting of the case study is about the house of quality. Faham ya? Setakat ni. So, saya baca the instructions ni. So, a case study on house of quality was designed for the students' mini project activities. So, sekarang ni lah. So, the HOQ is one of the important tools that can be deployed in the TQM implementation. Okay? Activities there. So, the HOQ technique is applicable for both product development and for the manufacturing process. So, in both stages, as what we have already learned in the previous week kan. HOQ ni, there are several stages that you can actually use or deploy this technique. Okay. So, you may refer to the detailed instruction in the appendix. Saya akan bagi dalam appendix. So, deliberate and write the report to include those important key points as stated below. So, kat bawah ni saya dah detail out. So, also you need to highlight the cited references to support your arguments and discussion in solving the case. Okay. So, sekarang ni, this is about the report structure. First, in the report structure or the report content, you need to include the introduction punya part at first, okay? So, the introduction is about the overview of the TQM implementation in an industry. So, dalam case ni, I've given you the scenario. So, that particular industry you have to refer according to the case study that has been assigned to your group ni. Okay. So, point number two, how the HOQ assist in the TQM implementation at the following stages? Preparation, training, execution in the industry. So, that will include in the content number one. So, how your team may have so dalam case ni how the you you yourself lah dalam case ni katalah you are heading a team eh? because ni individual project katalah you are heading a team in providing the solution in your organization so how your team may help to design solutions of the case study tu so that will be in the content number 2 okay right so this is the for the instruction here so in this mini project there are four case studies were appended in the attachment. Ada empat case study. So you have to select atau pick the case study that has been assigned to your group. Dalam case ni, your group is EF2208F1 ni. Case study number one has been assigned to your group. So kita ada empat case study, okay? Case study number two for the other group, okay? Same thing goes to three and four untuk group yang lain. So, jangan silap pilih pula eh. So, for the content of the report, for the fourth content, you have to report or discuss the roles of the senior management, middle management and workforce near level in supporting the TQM implementation. And then lastly will be the conclusions. You have to deliberate on the HOQ deployment in the TKM implementation and the overall key aspects in sustaining the TKM. Right. So, report writing a guidelines. Length of the report. So, length of the report at least 3,000 words. Sebab saya bagi you the duration to complete this project is one month. So, 3,000 tak akan tak boleh kot. Satu hari buat 300 perkataan. 10 hari dapatlah 3,000. Okay. So, at least ah, huh, excluding the references, excluding the uh, illustration and the figures. Okay. So, use word count ataupun word count indicates the total number of words at the end of the write-up. At the end of your report too, please include the word counts as my reference, okay? Next. 
So the arrange, arrangement of the report should be as follows. Yang ni, introduction, content 1, 2, 3, conclusion and references. So content 4 pun ada termasuk sekali ya. 1, 2, 3, sorry. Ah, ni. ni semua ada kat sini dah. Content 3, content 3. So content 2, content 1. As long as you strictly follow the instruction, InsyaAllah, you won't uh, kata apa, miss the point that I have already uh, assigned the students to do. Okay. So, the font area size, font area size 12. Okay, the spacing is one and a half. Margin kena justified. Now, so you have to upload your work in the 30 team. Okay. So the class ID is 2911600, enrollment key is the password. Now, now I'd like to show you the Ternitine screen. Right, just now kan, saya kata enroll ni. So what you need to do, the class ID 2911600 ni is actually under the Class name of mini project March July 2021. MEM 678. Tengok ah. So if you click under that class ID, so you will be uh, this screen will be appeared. Okay, screen ni akan appear. Okay, appear before you. So please pick ataupun select your group eh? yang ni dalam kes ni group you EM220 851 lah 8F1 sorry so you akan select yang ni then you upload your report accordingly okay so how to upload you need to upload in pdf file tau you jangan upload in words file okay kita tak nak sesakkan dia punya uh, so far okay eh? So you need to upload in PDF file. Then. So I will read through the instruction again. So in your case, you upload your work in under this folder. EM220885F1. Uh, okay. Now, further to the instruction lagi. So I make it very clear here. Please make sure that you have selected the correct group. Group yang betul eh. So this is the second reminder. So the similarity index must be below 30%. So anything more than 30%, 10% deduction from the total report score mark will be uh, uh, apa eh, penalized. Okay. So saya akan deduct 10% lah. Katalah you dapat 20. Kalau 10% dah tolak 2. Banyak tu. So, so again here. So the total score mark of 30% is actually allocated for the mini project assignment. Cuma for the report itself, only 20% will, uh, the report of the project, the one that we have to submit ni, contributes to 20% of the total mini project assessment. Another 10% too is assessed according to the individual video recorded presentation. So yang ni, I will provide another instruction just for the video presentation. Okay, so far so good? More clear? Yeah, doctor. Okay. Please take some time to read the instruction, to carefully read the instruction. So you may spend a bit of time reading, but you will save a lot of things in terms of maybe you do it wrongly ke, whatever, whatnot, okay? Because uh, the whole exercise will contribute to 20% of your total score mark of the course tu nanti. So you can't afford to make any mistake, eh? So kat sini, another instruction. The submission, okay, now you have done all the necessary work. You have uh, prepared the report. 
and then you save the report in PDF file. So next, after that, you have to upload your PDF file name in the Turnitin software to check on the plagiarism. So from the Turnitin punya platform, you need to download the originality report. Okay. In the originality report tu, dia akan give the results indication on the similarity index dia. How many percent? Okay. Next. Once you have already obtained your originality report, the next thing that you have to do is to upload the report in the unit in the U future. So dalam U future, to avoid any problem in terms of the uploading of your work, you zip both the originality report and your PDF file too dalam satu zip file and you upload because I was made to understand that um, you cannot upload multiple files but other student yang advance saya dah, dah give me the update that you can actually upload multiple file so you whichever we, one yang okay kita okay tak tahulah nanti I'll try to check in the assignment yang setting Perhaps I have to make some adjustment ataupun some setting that will enable you to upload multiple files. But to be at the safe side, so I just um, advise you here, please uh, upload, for you to upload the, your work, zip the file. Okay, memudahkan. Okay. Next, okay. So please refer to the appended table kat bawah ni, the deadline. So the deadline for each group will be different. Eh? Saya differ kan sebab apa eh? Because your class, today you dah dapat dah you punya assignment, okay? So your deadline will be 31st of May. So saya bagi you uh, one month lah, okay? So the other group, by tomorrow only, they will get the assignment ataupun they will know that they have already obtained the assignment ni. So, saya akan bagi deadline dia 1st of June. So, untuk the other group pula, 28 dan 28 juga ni 2nd of June. So, this deadline is actually saya dah set in the 2018. Although in the U feature, I set all at 2nd of June, cuma if you fail to upload your work in the Tenitin, then you won't get the originality report from the Tenitin by those uh, set date. Okay? So you have to follow the one that in the, in this table. Sebab kalau you tak follow ni, you tak akan dapat your originality report, then you can upload your work in the future. You can upload but without the originality report. Kalau without originality report tu akan ada penalty lah. Okay, so far so good, clear? Alhamdulillah, clear. Alhamdulillah, clear, clear. Oh, semua, semua bagus. So, this is the rubric scale. Tak payah tengok yang poor and acceptable ni. Saya nak you tengok terus yang excellent point. Okay. If I take the trouble to explain to you in detail one by one about the mini project ataupun assignment, please do the necessary work and then please play your part juga. Okay. Now, untuk yang introduction, overview of the TKM implementation in industry, clear and excellent introduction to the overview of the TKM implementation. So you have to include very clear the introduction to the overview of TKM implementation, okay? So untuk content number two, discussion on the different approach of HOQ de deployment at different stages of the TQM implementation, preparation, planning and execution. So must be excellent discussion on the different stages of the TQM implementation preparation, planning and execution. So kalau tak faham boleh tanya eh. So untuk content number two, tadi introduction, content number one, content number two, 
will contribute to 30% of the the whole thing. Saya akan bagi in total 100%, tapi I'll take 20% from this work to include in your overall score mark. Okay. But in terms of bagi point markah ni, saya bagi 100%. Tapi dah ada sikit-sikit dia lah. So dalam kes ni, dia kata you have to discuss, dia kata discussion on the design solution of the case study using HOQ. First year, you have to generate the affinity diagram, interrelation diagram, tree diagram and matrix diagram accordingly in helping the TQM implementation. So saya akan tunjuk you the detailed question nanti later on, okay. This is the rubric. So in the rubrics ni, you have to use a bit of your cognitive level knowledge to do the cross reference. Di sini, I give you the guideline on how I will assess ataupun evaluate your report. But the detailed explanation part of it, you have to refer to the case study, okay? So untuk yang content number three, discussion on the roles of senior management, media, middle management and workforce in supporting the TQM implementation. So must be excellent discussion. Why I said excellent discussion? Some of the report that I have received from the student is very general in term of the organizational structure to discussion on the roles of senior, middle and workforce. Uh, unfortunately, they do not relate this with the case study. Excellent discussion should be the roles of the senior, middle and workforce management too must be in relation to the case study. Katalah your case study dalam case ni nanti kita tengok is about the uh, shoes, sport shoes and design. So katalah in your organisation tu, uh, you have name your organisation tu as the, eh, saya dah bagi pun nama kat company tu, Panther ke apa ke. So in your discussion, in the organisation of your structure tu, you have to actually based on the case study tu. So katalah in Panther management, the senior management is responsible for what is must be related to the case study that you that you have been assigned to do. Okay, so don't make it too general. Sebab apa eh, saya cakap macam tu? Because uh, sometimes there's no connection in your report tu. So in the end, um, I cannot see the flow, the cohesiveness of your report then it will actually will affect your uh, score mark tu nanti at the end of the day. Saya tak boleh bagi banyak lah because you seem not to connect from one point to another. So tak ada flow dia tu. Okay. So here is the uh, the cover of the report tu. So dalam cover of the report tu name and student ID, case study number class group ataupun the project group tu uh, you letaklah group yang mana kat sini ya. Eh. So dalam kes ni you are daripada group EF uh, uh, 8F1 okay. 8F1. So case study number letak case study number 1, 2 or 3 or what not. So yang ni you must include in your cover as your cover reports cover. Okay. So we have come to the Case study So I have appended four case studies altogether, but the one that is assigned to your group is actually case study number one. Jangan sila ambil case study ya. Sila ambil case study saya tak bagi markah. So case study number one is about the Panther Shoe Running Company. So yang ni you um the company is actually is um, looking ataupun is developing for a new running shoes okay so your task okay your task is to create house of quality using the qfd 
and complete the following. So this content mainly will be under content number two. House of quality and everything tadi. Content number two, yes. Kat sini. You tengok balik dalam report structure tu. Content number two is about HOQ. So you masukkan dalam content number two ni dalam HOQ. Uh, HOQ ni dalam content number two. So first, kita baca the early part of the instruction dulu. The scene setting dia, dia kata apa? The production manager of Panther Show Running Company has asked you to create a, an HOQ matrix that will define the customer requirements. So you have to come up with a new design running shoes, okay? So the customer requirements must relate to the manufacturing department capabilities. So any requirements, you have to set katalah your manufacturing capability to apa. So somehow, the kata the company has established several quality requirements for the shoes. Yang ni saya dah bantu sikit. The shoes must be made of rubber and nylon blend. So dia punya shoe sole and dia punya uh, inner sole and sole tu dia kata uh, must be made of rubber and nylon blend. So for the outsole, maksudnya tapak dia, tapak dia lah. For the outsole and polyurethane for the inner sole. Untuk outsole dia mesti daripada rubber and nylon blend. Tapak dia. And for the inner sole, dalam tapak dia tu, must be made of PU foam. Polyurethane foam. So, it will be a lace up shoes. Ah, yang kasut yang ada bertali ya. Bukan yang magic shoes tu. And will be made available in multi colors. So, dia kata multi colors. And must be attractive. So, with all these things ataupun indication given to you, you have to come up with the five basic ataupun you have to create the five basic customer requirements for the running shoes. So what I can actually uh, give you the some ideas on how to come up with these basic five requirements. Eh? What you can do, you can do the brainstorming session among your peers. You boleh je buat session ni. But in the end, you just pick the five customer requirements to based on your own punya perspective. Discussion can be made in group. Katalah you rasa susah nak buat seorang-seorang, you can make the discussion and then you please highlight in your report that you have made discussion, this, this discussion has been made dengan siapa. So in the event that if I see a bit of similarity in your point too, at least I has been, uh, it has been uh, notified to me that you have made the discussion among this group of people and then saya faham lah, saya maklum lah your situation. So in terms of the customer requirements can be a bit of similarity, similarity can be um, I will accept a bit of the, if there are similarities, I will accept. But the content of the report too, I cannot accept if there are similarities, okay? So based on the five requirements too, you have to determine the technical requirement to enable the manufacturing department to produce the product according to their capability. Hence, meeting the customer's requirement. So, Explain the rationale each of the customer requirement and how they fit into the business design strategy for this product. So describe your matrix relationship with using the matrix diagram and justify how the customer requirements are related to the manufacturing department capabilities. So kalau you jawab soalan yang betul-betul, because this is, this is guided now. So you dah boleh buat dah. So kata kat situ, so another instruction pula, prior to constructing the HOQ, students shall develop their ideas using the following gener idea generation development tools. So you can include dalam your report to affinity diagram. So 
interrelation diagram, tree diagram, and finally the matrix diagram, the one that you will display and construct in the HOQ tu nanti. So far okay tak? Kau rasa pening? Uh, InsyaAllah boleh. Boleh kan? Okay, don't worry. I'll show you the example of the previous year report done by other student. Kita tunjuk contoh lagi. Alhamdulillah. Okay, this is an example tapi not from the same case study lah. Kita tunjuk different case study. At least it gives you some ideas on how to start off. Okay. So kat sini tengok dia letak ni. Yang ni dulu saya buat group project. Tapi now saya bagi untuk you all punya ni saya buat individual assignment. But the discussion can be done in the group. But you produce your own report. Okay. Kat sini content, they follow the content. I give you very basic. You can actually put a bit more on the subtopic kat sini. It's up to you. What I am showing you right now here is actually the very basic of the content. You nak makan penuh, you bagi lebih. Okay. So this is the introduction. It has started with the introduction. So okay. Tidak ni dia buat. So content number one. So they explain about the sepatutnya content number one about what? Dia tengok balik yang instruction saya. Content number one must include the introduction. Okay, content number two, uh, sorry, content number one must Discuss about the HOQ. So kita tengok contoh yang budak ni buat. Discuss on the HOQ. So kalau kita tengok kat sini. It is actually discussing. The report actually discussing about the house of quality. So content number one. The HOQ is a product matrix. Blah blah blah. Dia cerita. So you buat macam ni sama. Now. The report explains about the HOQ and the QFT dulu. Then next only you go to your case study. Okay. Your case study to make the HOQ for the dalam case ni dia buat auto roller board eh. Contoh case study number two. Auto roller board, roller board ni is actually case study number yang you all punya number one. Sport shoes. Yang ni case study number two. Auto roller boss. Okay. Next. Kita tengok uh, report ni. So this is the affinity diagram yang dia buat. So dia buat ni semua according to the uh, the guidelines ataupun the indication of of the customer requirements that has been given for the auto roller board. So dalam case you tadi yang case tadi number one it does highlight here that you have to emphasize interval dalam your design tu what do you need to consider? Apa dia? Dia kata dia punya outer sole ataupun tapak dia kena made of rubber and nylon blend. And then inner sole must be made of polyurethane. So you kena include ni. Okay. So kasut mesti yang culis, yang bertali ni. And then untuk make it attractive, kena multi color. So you just include lah the content dia. Apa dia? So kat sini dia letak ergonomic, reasonable price, water resistant, lightweight, low battery. The five customer requirement dia tu. So before you can arrive to this, actually you can follow the method in doing the affinity diagram tu. Because uh, for you to come up with this five requirements, the first thing that you have to do for the affinity diagram your procedure, you do the brainstorming kan. It must be at random. So later only in the affinity diagram punya instruction ataupun procedure dia, later only, later only you classify those random ideas to 
into its natural group. So dalam case ni because it has been guided to you that natural group tu must be uh, ada soul dia, outer soul, inner soul. Okay so you can categorize according ni lah lepas tu. Okay. So far nampak tak? Then lepas affinity, affinity diagram, you come up with the tree diagram ataupun interrelation diagram dulu. So whichever comes first is okay. Saya accept. Okay. So you can do the tree diagram and then followed by the interrelation diagram. So next is actually you have to do the matrix diagram dulu. Yang ni dia tak masukkan matrix diagram dulu. You have to do the matrix diagram only then you finish all this information in the house of quality. So you nampak cantik kan house of quality ni? Cantik. Cantik kan? So I'm giving you another tips lagi. Allah bagi macam-macam kalau you tak buat betul ni memang sajalah. Memang saya okay. Okay. The house of quality, actually, you can download this for free. The software dia daripada e-draw. E, saya e, type kat sini ya. Eh. Saya type dalam kita punya ni. You you boleh download www.e-draw. E-draw. Okay. So in this software dia ada two type. Satu yang pro punya, satu yang untuk free punya. So you just download yang free sajalah. Tak payahlah ambil yang pro kan. You have to pay. So since it is available in the website, just use the software yang for free tu lah. So you download this. Saya pun download yang free juga. Okay. So you will get these features. You akan dapat these features. Okay. You nampak kat sini relation diagram dah ada kat sini. So untuk buat di analysis, so you just explore. So for the house of the quality, you can get this feature under the management. So akan dapat house of quality. So you just explore and then untuk yang um, the affinity diagram, Affinity diagram actually you can kat mana project management kot. Saya tak ingat lah. Tadi saya tengok strategic plan. Yes. Bawah strategic planning they also provide the affinity diagram. So semua dah ada kat sini. But if you would like to use other software ataupun other means by all means you can do that. No problem. Katalah you, kata you tak nak lah pakai software ni. Susah lah tak cantik ke whatever. It's up to you by all means as long as it does show the structure tu clearly. No problem. You can use just a um, PowerPoint ke. No problem. Boleh je. Okay so far ada soalan. Tak ada soalan tu maksudnya bagus tu. So after that just buat report and then content number three is about the senior uh, the management role tu and then conclusion. That's it. Habis. Dah. Ada soalan? Clear? InsyaAllah. InsyaAllah clear. Ah, okay. okay. Masih okay. So, sekarang tak ada soalan lagi. Sekarang tak ada soalan. Hmm. Oh, tak ada soalan. Eh, kenapa sebenarnya tak appear lah. Aduh, saya kena upload, re-upload lah. Nanti kejap lagi saya buat lah dalam uh, uh, yang you all dalam new feature you ada nampak tak? Sebab saya dah upload dah tadi tau. Mungkin saya tak tekan butang save kot. Ataupun tak. Very unlikely because saya dah upload dah. Okay, tak apa. Uh, you ada dapat tak? Cuba tengok dah you feature. Sebab saya dah assign dah tadi. Untuk all the group. Ada kat assignment. Ada kat assignment? Uh, dah ada dah medium. Dah ada eh? 
So kenapa tak dapat kat sini? Saya punya tak nampak ah. Innalillah. Saya tak puas hati saya nak check. Saya dengar saya nak tanya. Ada ada. Hmm, tak ada lah. View rubik. Oh ni 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 ni. Oh edit. So saya saya akan uh, um, rubrik tu so saya dah include tapi saya at the same time I will also put it in a, in an official new rubrik new setting dalam um, assignment yang in the new future ni juga saya akan include juga. Dah ada eh? Okay. Boleh share dia punya ni tak dalam ni? Oh ada pun. Sekejap eh individu. Yes. This is the one. Syairah dah boleh masuk ke? Uh, dah, dah. Dah boleh masuk. Sebab saya dah set. Sepatutnya tak ada isu. Uh, tadi saya pakai email satu lagi. Lupa. Ah, tak ada. Okay, okay. okay. Semua dah ada kat sini eh. Macam ni kena ambil gambar lagi sekali ni. Tak adalah. So. So far. Tak ada soalan ya. Eh? Kalau tak ada soalan saya nak touch a little bit on the QCC and lepas tu kita boleh conclude our class lah, our session nanti. Okay Afiq, okay. Mama Afiq, ada nak tanya apa? Okay, saya nak tanya, is it necessary to include the pictures of designs choose to? Okay. Kan kita nak buat pictures of choose to kan? Okay. okay. So macam kalau include design ni kalau kita include just yang kita design tu necessary ke tak? Tak apa dengar, tak apa clear. Ha. Uh, kalau macam nak include uh, design shoes tu necessary ke kita tak payah? Include design dia? Ha, kan include kan? You nak masukkan design dia? Ha. By all means tunjuklah appearance dia, konsep design dia. So itu under uh, appendices lah kan? Dalam one of the contents kan? Ah, boleh boleh. You boleh tunjuk bahawa konsep design dia macam mana you nak buat tu. Because uh, sepatutnya at this level you only need to come up with the until the technical requirements. Belum sampai lagi manufacturingnya tu lah. Oh so kalau dia buat Ah yeah, you bagi justification why you think that your design is actually good and okay to be uh, proceeded to the next level. Hmm. Uh, you kena bagi that justification tu lah. I think more to justification lah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sebab saya nak tengok how do you actually deploy all the techniques yang you have learned in the topic three ni. So in terms of affinity diagram tu, because uh, memang if you don't practice it, you won't see the the difference and you won't see in terms of its application tu, the importance of the application tu. Uh, by doing this exercise in the case study punya aspect ni, it gives you the uh, overall scenario on how to apply this tool at the appropriate time or at appropriate stage. Otherwise you belajar je, you tak nampak tau. Memanglah it's true that I guide you in detail. Because uh, nak buat ni pun, kalau you dekat kilang pun, usually lah the consultant, the trainer, dia akan bagi training. Paling tak pun tiga hari ni training just nak buat this activity saja. Nak buat affinity diagram ke apa. Okay. The most yang paling complete is one week punya training program. Tapi dia split lah. Dia split into several stages. Okay. So it is a very powerful and useful tool. And then uh, insyaAllah kalau you have this experience. Kalau because I have my students previously pun bila they attend the interview this company. When they explain, when they ask the question related to the product design development and then when they mention about HOQ je, if you able to relate dengan your knowledge, dengan your experience ni yang you dah buat ni walaupun sikit, 
they immediately gives them a very orang kata goodnya impression tahu oh you ada belajar juga so for them to let you to proceed dengan activities pun kena senang lah they don't have to uh, really supervise you one to one go whatever what not because you dah ada experience tu added value insyaallah okay try to do it orang kata betul lah put in effort and uh, execute the case study ni exercise ni so kalau tak ada apa saya nak again saya nak advise you to go to the online class tu please log in your attendance ah macam yang previous class tu if you fail to log in your attendance the system is already set tau kalau you tak log in your attendance half an hour after the class has been concluded the student won't be able to access to the attendance anymore you tak boleh lagi dah nak update your attendance okay so you have to update your attendance immediately after the class concluded ataupun during the class hour tu just click lah sekejap just go to the new feature and up, update your attendance right so for the mini project ni so far tak ada soalan ya kalau tak ada soalan saya nak pergi kepada QCC because uh, in the previous class I have not touched at all on the QCC so where do I get all these notes ada dalam nota you eh kat mana saya ambil saya ambil daripada ini okay yang nota yang ada dua atau lebih pages tu dua atau lebih ni so kat mana ni saya tunjuk kat mana saya ambil eh you go to your google classroom so you go to your lecture material bawah course note ni so dalam folder ni you tengok bawah topik number three so bawah topik number three tu semua ada kat situ okay the one that I have presented to you in the previous class is actually I've taken from Mosha nya course note ni. Okay. Mosha nya course note tu saya dah simplifikan sikit but the content is the basic content are there. Okay. But dalam yang topic 3 ni the explanation is very extensive. Panjang sangat. Okay. It is good for you to use as your reading material. Okay. Not for the class in the session. But for the sake of the class me, since I have not touched on the QCC in our previous class, so I would like to touch a bit here. Okay. So, saya akan terus pergi pada QCC. Dalam notes ni bagi detail, you can use this note as your reference. Sebab kat sini semua ada yang color-color semua quite clear. Okay. Okay, QCC. So you nampak kan? Terbesar kan? So kita tengok QCC, Quality Control Circle. Oops. So dia kata QCC ni is actually a small group of employees who come together to discuss with the management issues related to either quality control or improvement in production methods form and you form the quality control circle. So the quality control circle usually in previously when I was working in several organizations in the manufacturing industries they do have QCC but most of the members in the QCC ni memang from the operational level and the uh, executive or supervisor level um, will help in terms of uh, facilitating the group okay but the main task all the activities is actually being done by the operational level ataupun workforce ni level. Okay. So these employees usually work in the, the same areas. 
and voluntarily meet on a regular basis. Kenapa eh, kita perlukan people from the operational level because they are the one who are actually involved directly with the activities in the operation at the production floor and day in day out they are meeting the same people in the same area. So it is easier for them to form the group from the relevant areas ni and the discussion also can be made at the very I'll say that um, at the time that that is convenient or mutually agreed by the member of the group. Sebab dia dalam group yang sama at the same operational level. So it it is much much easier for them to set interval time and then they also having the same experience and also they are also having the same atau facing the same problem because uh, the operation is actually belong to them. So senang nak buat. So the QCC tools usually that is um, ataupun that I use for the QCC ni activities, quality control circuit activities, uh, Pareto charts atau Pareto diagram, cost effect diagram, certification, check sheets, histograms, scatter diagram and control charts. Okay, these are the charts ataupun the one that saya dah highlight in the previous class, okay. So the benefit, the benefit of introducing the QCC program. So it heightened the quality awareness. So by having the group, you set up this group, somehow the quality awareness too will be um, engaged among them and then they akan lagi dia panggil apa reinforce in terms of the knowledge tu okay so it improves the quality of the firm's product ataupun the company's product and increasing value of the brand ataupun of the product itself okay so the people who are part of the QCC akan feel sense of ownership because if you are the one who have uh, ataupun who has uh, highlighted on the problem that you have encountered during the process though, during the processing of the part so so in a way you will have the feel of ataupun the sense of ownership of the problem though so you know that this problem can be solved within the group so you will take the problem too seriously rather than uh, just live as it is, okay? So, yang ni pun is about the psychological uh, effect in, among the group tu juga. So, it is also about the empowerment. Empowerment for the, for this group to make decision and to come up with solution, okay? So the quality control circle program also brings out, brings about the improvement on the two-way communication between the staff and the management. Okay. So it helps to link up the broken, ataupun the link the gap in terms of communication between the workforce level and the management. Usually workforce level, maybe you will have the direct communication with the staff level. Staff ni can be your engineers in charge, the supervisor. They are all under the category staff, okay? But for you to have a direct communication with the people at the management level, the big, big bosses, without this platform QCC, perhaps you don't have any chance to present the problem to them. So with this platform, Usually what the management will uh, uh, schedule is actually for the group to present their findings and their progress. If they do have the project tool in the pipeline and then they have already submitted what they intend to do over a period of six, six months time ke, they adalah come up dengan project tool. So the management usually akan request the group to present periodically 
every stages or what sort of progress that you have already achieved, you have to present. So it helps in terms of the communication, the two-way communication. So the financial benefit, so in terms of financial benefit though, whatever the improvement that you have made, it will be uh, reflected ataupun it will be uh, translated into the economical factor dia ataupun uh, dia panggil apa economic factor dia. So dia akan translate into dollar sign atau dollars okay ringgit Malaysia. So with this improvement if they projected over one year period, two year period so the amount of saving tu akan nampak dia punya significant tu. Okay. So apa lagi? So the QCC, what is it? So a small group doing similar or related work, meeting continuously. So what normally they will do, okay? First, katalah they don't have any project in hand. What they can do, discussing among themselves, among the group, they have to identify what are the current or the latest problem. So if they manage to identify several issues, but not all the issues are critical, they have to prioritize them. How they are going to do it? They can do the Pareto chart ke, to plot. So they take the first three, for example. So by doing the necessary analysis, so it will arrive them to the certain level of decision making. So they will select the problem which one to do first. So from the problem that they have selected, they go to the next level to do the brainstorming. So that, that's how all the tools are made available for them to utilize at the appropriate level, stage. Bukan semua you randuk, you pakai je at the same time, tak? It has the punya appropriate nya level of usage tu, okay? So you analyze, you do brainstorming, break down into several points, and then you analyze. So from your analysis, you come up, come up with the um, solution here. So solve the problem and come up with the solution, and then come up with the comparison before the improvement done and after the, the, the improvement uh, done. So upper dia punya, Comparison and differences there. Okay. So objective here basically how do you want to identify the problem though? First, you must have a clear objective. What do you intend to achieve? Okay. So you not eliminate waste. So you look into the seven QC waste, seven waste not available. So it can be in terms of waste of time, waste of people, whatever lah, waste of material. So you think what lah. So must have a clear objective. If you want to solve customer complaints, uh, you must get the feedback out of customer complaint. Maybe how do you get the customer complaint? You should go to the warranty claiming department, for example. So you check what are the most claim issues yang you receive from your customer lately. So based on that, so you work downward. Okay. So improve internal, katalah you want to improve the internal communication. How does this internal communication actually create the problems to your side or oh, you have no clear instruction from the top management how to improve. So you can select that as your problem. So but the clear direction so you don't do anything for example. So how to improve that? Also can. So you want to develop the problem prevention attitude. So how do you want to do that? Katala your objective you this time is actually to conduct training so that all the target personnel yang you would like to have in house too will have the the same mentality ataupun will have, will have the same thinking so that they can execute the task accordingly. So to improve leadership skill ke, provide training, identify and solve problem. So so these are the things is actually will guide you on how to start off with your QCC project though. Okay. So far so good. So dah ada teleno. Saya nak habiskan cepat ni. Hah, siapa jawab? Saya tak nampak. Okay. 
Okay, good. good. Thank you, Sazwan. Right. Then, um, okay. Things not to be discussed. Okay. If it, it is not within your authority to discuss in terms of reward and remuneration, in terms of personalities of these people or that people, what you need to discuss is actually what the problems that can be solved. That's it. Disciplinary policies ke, yang tu yang ada sekalah dalam QCC, okay? It's not relevant. So the typical structure ada facilitator, team leader, secretary. So the member, member, member from the workforce nya. Secretary ni can be from your group ataupun secretary also can be from the slightly upper level from the workforce ni. Production flow. Katalah line leader ke. Okay. The team leader can be from the team leader or the supervisor. The facilitator ni usually is actually um, called by the engineer. Jadi engineer yang bagi uh, become the facilitator of the QCC group ni. You all lah nanti. Jadi engineer kan. So function dia apa? Appointed as a, as a member of the uh, quality council. Train the team leader and members, okay, coordinate the QCC activities. So, these are the, so leaders function, the apa, semua ada dah ada kat sini. Secretary's function, apa, keeps on meeting records. So, that's why I said, dalam notes yang ni, in the, you feature, sorry, in the, you feature pun ada. Dalam notes yang, another notes yang provided in the Google Classroom ni, this note is very detailed. So you can use this as your reading material for your test nanti. And also for your assignment ni pun you boleh refer as your reading material. So members function pun ada di sini. So the sequence apa what you need to do. See brainstorm and then do the ranking. Filter through using the benefit analysis. Okay. So it has a very detailed punya explanation in terms of steps that you can adopt if you would like to start off ataupun initiate the QCC punya activities. Okay. The tools here ni, seven QC tools. Cause you got diagram, check sheet, palito, graphs, histograms, control charts. Control charts pun ada two types, eh? attributes and the variable control chart. Nanti kita akan discuss in detail. And scatter diagrams. So, so next is about business process re-engineering. Business process re-engineering ni, saya tak touch in the previous ni. But you can have a good reading under the, under this uh, slides. So, in the syllabus pun, I just need to briefly mention about the business process re-engineering, not in detail because if I were to cover for the BPR, BPR ni, it takes like another syllabus pula. Panjang eh, actually. So it is the analysis and design of workflows and process within an organization. So a business process is a set of logically related tasks performed to achieve a, divine, a defined business outcome. So re-engineering is a basis for many recent development in manage, management. Usually, whenever they want to do the business process re-engineering, it involves a major decision, macam UITM sekarang lah. Daripada faculty, they dah convert into the college engineering. That is business process re-engineering. Major restructure. Okay. So, dia kata apa? With this the, the definition ni, basically dia kata the business process re-engineering is the fundamental rethinking and radical, radical redesign of business process to achieve dramatic improvements in critical contemporary measures of performance such as cost, quality, service and speed. So this is exactly what UITM is going through right now. Memang dramatic punya improvements. 
So it encompasses the ambition of new work strategies, exactly, new work strategies, the actual process design activity and the implementation of the change in all its complex technological, human and organizational dimensions. So at your level, tak serang -serang, you are the stakeholders, but at the management level and the operational level, Memang terasa lah. Okay. So with that, you tengok this is the ni, business process re-engineering, identify process, review update. So design to be, test and implement. Sekarang ni kita dekat ni. Implementation and we are testing in terms of the punya implementation after at least satu cohort ni has uh, gone through this one particular cohort. Okay. So, re-engineering. Ini awak baca sendiri lah. So, so far ada soalan? Ada. Okay, nanti saya akan. So, for today's ni, uh, basically what I intend to do for today's class has been uh, completed ataupun uh, is already uh, done. So, saya nak review ni cuma the next thing that I would like to uh, discuss with you is actually the group assignment. So, I prefer to, to do it one at a time. Tak nak avoid, tak nak create any uh, confusion. Because yang uh, group assignment tu, uh, basically you can work in a group tapi dia punya markahnya cuma Constitute tu, you punya total mark tu 10% saja eh. 10% saja. And then it's a group work. Okay. So, kalau tak ada soalan, saya nak conclude the class lah. So, before I end, I just go another round. Ada apa-apa soalan? Nak tanya nak apa? Uh, dari saya tak ada madam. Tak ada eh. So saya nak stop presenting, saya nak ambil gambar ni because ada complete dalam ni. Ada, okay. Saya akan stop presenting and saya nak everyone to on your camera sebab saya nak snap pictures lagi ni. Sebab semua dah ada kat sini. Bagus, bagus. Hari ni attendance bagus. Make sure you log in your attendance dalam Google, uh, dalam your future ya. Please. Okay, on camera. Tak ada camera Shazwan? Aduh. Tak ada camera tak apa. Siapa yang ada camera? Please on your camera. Okay. Semua ada. Semua tak tidur. Okay, bagus. Kalau tak sempat ambil tudung pakai tudung pun boleh. Right. Semua ni ada lagi ni M ni. Muhammad Shazwan tak ada. Zul Hajat sini tak ada ke? Kamera Ali Imran Zulaika eh, cepat 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 nak ambil cepat Hello Saifuddin Aman Faiza Muhammad Syari tak ada kamera Faiza ada kamera tak? Faiza tak ada Okay, you guna PC. Okay. So, Nurul Izzati? Uh, saya guna PC, Madam. Tak ada kamera. Ya ke? Alamak, uh -uh. beli kamera lah ni. Beli lah kat kedai RM2 tu ada. <laughs> so, Ali pun tak ada. Okay, tak apa. Yang mana tak ada tu. Uh, tak apa. So, saya snap lagi sekali. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Yom. Okay. Okay, saya share dalam group. Okay. So, ingatlah saya recap untuk you punya mini project. First, you kena produce the report and then your report follow, strictly follow the instructions provided in the uh, your future tu dalam uh, 
assignment or mini project instruction tu ada clear instruction and for you to upload your work please save in the pdf file once you have completed your report tu you save in the pdf file and, and you upload in the tenitin dalam tenitin pula please make sure you choose the correct group so you upload you punya kerja ni dalam group f1 ni lah okay because saya dah create ada four different groups kat sini so please select your group your registered group okay then lepas tu once you have already uploaded you just wait for a while until the tenitin will come up with the similarity reports ataupun originality report ni eh so once you have obtained your originality report you're going to check your result cannot be more than 30% anything more than 30% saya akan bagi penalty 10% from the total score mark okay so bila you dah dapat originality report ni pun okay bagus less than 30% and then your report pun dah ready so what you need to do to upload in the your future you have to zip this file to combine the originality report and the report both must be in pdf file lepas tu you upload lah dalam your future you punya work so now i'm using the backup and then sebab dalam future saja saya takut ada crash ke apa I will assign also dalam Google Classroom the same assignment. So dalam Google Classroom, it has no limitation in terms of how many reports ataupun file that you need to upload tak apa. So you just upload separately dalam you, dalam Google Classroom, you upload separate file of your mini project report and the separate file of your originality report. Upload kan sekali. Faham eh? The same instruction also uh, I have included in the mini project nya instruction document file tu. Ada detail. Okay kalau tak ada apa dah soalan ke apa so saya end our uh, to this class dengan session dengan Tasbik Farah dengan Surah Tua Al. So, saya sudahi dengan Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. So, please do your assignment. Jangan last minute lah. Eh. You can start from now. Ni ada masa berbaki ni. Before five ni, please just do the necessary groundwork dulu. Okay? Okay, Madam. Okay. Thank you, Madam. 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 Thank you